Today, a biotech company broke ground on a planned $2 billion facility in Wake County. Yeah, Fuji Film says that it will hire 750 people with construction finishes, uh, when construction, I say, finishes in 2025. Consumer investigator Steve Spracia spoke with the company's CEO today and leaders in Holly Springs on the pros and the cons of the growth created by this major development. Well before the groundbreaking, they had already begun clearing the land and doing site prep for what will turn out to be the largest cell culture plant in North America. Big pose, strong pose, there you go. The groundbreaking was a formality. When the facility opens, it'll employ 725 people, making an average salary of $100,000. That will have an impact on the local economy, creating even more jobs in the community. You're talking about uh, uh, jobs that will support like a small business jobs, you know, uh, services, uh, uh, daycares, eye doctors. Beyond the economic impact, Fujifilm Diosynth hopes the biotechnologies it creates here will have an impact on people's lives. We're going to build eight will be in the uh, uh, initial facility. The space on here and a vision that we could build up to another 24. We could have 32, 20,000 liter bioreactors producing millions and millions of doses of medicine. But having a plant like that creates special problems for public safety agencies like the Holly Springs Fire Department. This facility is going to bring some unique challenges. There's going to be some hazardous material components, a um, massage component, but we're going to start training up and preparing for that. The biotechnology facility will add to the explosive growth in a town which was a sleepy little community a decade ago. A town that now has a much more urban feel with the addition of a new downtown hospital and lots more traffic congestion everywhere on roads not designed for those loads. Main Street is already busy, so now with the addition of the hospital and the incoming uh, pharmaceuticals, I think we're going to see a bit of an issue here. Now, the state is going to be giving Fuji $20 million in grant money over the next decade, but only if it meets hiring goals during that period. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasher. Steve, thank you. Fujifilm, by the way, is just one of many different tech companies that have